of a split-site doubleheader from the Air Canada Centre in Toronto. The first fight will take place at the MGM National Harbour in Oxon Hill, Maryland, with WBC featherweight champion Gary Russell Jr. 28-1, 17 KOs, defending against Joseph Diaz Jr., 26-0, 14 KOs. Stevenson, 29-1, 24 KOs, comes into the contest riding a 16-fight winning streak with 14 knockouts. The knock on the 40-year-old Canadian throughout his title reign has been the reluctance to face the best competition in the 175-pound division. He is facing Jack, the 2nd of January 22, 13 KOs, who is a two-division world champion and is riding a seven-fight unbeaten streak. His first fight at light heavyweight came in the co-main event of the Floyd mayweather Conor McGregor card back in August, when he knocked out Nathan Cleverly to become the WBA champion. Is Stevenson that good or does Jack show the world how good he really is? We will find out in a few short hours who is the best fighter in the light heavyweight division. All times Eastern, Stevenson vs. Jack results Gary Russell Jr. retains his featherweight title over Joseph Diaz Jr. 11.22 p.m. Gary Russell Def. Joseph Diaz by unanimous decision, 117 to 111, 117 to 111, 115 to 113, to retain the WBC featherweight title. Sporting News had it scored 116 to 112 for Russell. Russell needed to establish the jab to set everything up and he did just that. For the half of the fight, it was close, but Russell's championship experience proved to be too much for Diaz. Now, Russell needs to be more active. He claims he wants to be more active and face the best in the division. Hopefully the Maryland native lives up to his words, as a fight between him and the winner of Abner Mares and Leo Santa Cruz would determine who the best is at 126 pounds. 11.17 p.m., round 12 to Diaz, 10-9, 116-112, to Diaz went for broke while Russell tried to stay away. We now go to the judges. 11.13 p.m., round 11 to Russell, 10-9, to 107-102, to the best round of the fight. Russell and Diaz stayed on the inside and went shot for shot. Even though Diaz had dominated when the action was in close quarters, Russell showed his toughness and willingness to press the action when he really didn't need to and did more damage. 11.09 p.m., round 10 to Diaz, 10-9, to 97-93, while he didn't completely throw away his fighting attack, Diaz stayed up close which nullified Russell's jab. Needs to throw caution to the win in the final six minutes if he's going leave with the title. 11.05 p.m., round 9 to Russell, 10-9, 88 88-83, it's exciting to watch Russell fight. The different ways he throws combinations coming off the jab is a sight to see. If I'm Diaz's corner, they need to think about abandoning the game plan and start applying more pressure. Diaz has never scored a knockout after the ninth round, 11.01 p.m., round 8 to Russell, 10 to 9, 78 to 74 Russell, great round for the champion. Russell keeps coming with the jab and using his footwork to keep Diaz guessing. Diaz might have found something in the last 45 seconds by throwing the jab, which allowed him connect on combinations. 10.57 p.m., round 7 to Russell, 10-9, to 68-65 to Russell, everything starts with the jab. And that is the case for Russell. It's allowing him to land his right hook and more importantly, keeping Diaz and his hard body shots away from him. Diaz needs to change up his arsenal if he's going to come back and take the title away from Russell. 10.53 p.m., round 6 to Russell, 10-9, 58-56 Russell, great job by Russell.
He fought the entire round instead of fighting in spurts. If he could continue to do that, he will make it a lot easier for himself. 10.49 p.m. Round 5 to Diaz, 10-9, to 48-47 Russell, another close round until the final minute. But this time, it was Diaz who took it by finding a home with vicious body shots. Diaz needs to be more active early on, as Russell keeps coming out the aggressor. 10.45 p.m., round 4 to Russell, 10-9, to 39-37 to Russell. The round was even until the final minute when Russell found a home for his patent right hook and outlanded 7-3 in that time frame. 10.41 p.m., round 3 to Russell, 10-9, to 29-28 to Russell, a good bounce back for Russell. Like the previous round, he came out the aggressor. This time around though, Russell continued the pace throughout the round. He went back to the jab and kept Diaz at distance. If Russell can keep the jab going, it will be an easy night at the office. 10.36 p.m., round 2 to Diaz, 10-9, 19-19, to to Russell and Diaz had their moments. Russell controlled the first half while Diaz controlled the second half. But, Diaz has landed the harder shots and made Russell back up on two occasions. Diaz has to continue to stay in close quarters. Can Russell make the proper adjustment? 10.32 p.m., round 1 to Russell, 10-9, to great job by the champion in setting the tone early by having his lead foot aimed right at Diaz. By doing that, Russell was able to continuously popping the jab. Diaz needs to be more in Russell's lane so he can't get the jab off. 10.22 p.m. in the co-main event of Stevenson vs. Jack Gary Russell Jr. defends the WBC featherweight championship against Joseph Diaz Jr. Since his loss to Vasil Lomachenko, Russell's 28-1, 17 KOs won four consecutive fights including his fourth round TKO win over Johnny Gonzalez to capture the title. Diaz, 26-0, 14 KOs, is a 2012 Olympian earned a chance to win the title, beating former featherweight title holder Victor Terrazas by third round knockout in February. The knock on Russell and a valid one is the fact he's only fought two times since he won the belt in March 2015. This will be his toughest title defense to date. Will the inactivity finally catch up to him? 10.13 p.m. Floyd Mayweather joins Jim Gray to preview the Stevenson vs. Jack main event 10.05 p.m. Sporting News is ready for tonight's fights. And so is WBC featherweight champion Gary Russell Jr. as he gets ready to defend his title against Joseph Diaz Jr. in Oxon Hill, Maryland. Beast. Mode. At Padu Jack in the building, Canada. Will they go 12 rounds? I would grab plenty of refreshments. They won't go the distance. When combining on closing key cap hour away from a world title doubleheader on Showtime double exclamation mark. Jack fight card Adonis Stevenson vs. Badu Jack for Stevenson's WBC light heavyweight title Gary Russell Jr. vs. Joseph Diaz Jr. 12 rounds for Russell's WBC featherweight title Stevenson vs. Jack latest news, Adonis Stevenson defends his resume to SN and has a message to his critics. But do Jack explains to SN why he won't quickly dismiss the credentials of Stevenson. Stephen Muehlhausen is an MMA and boxing writer and contributor for Sporting News. Subscribe to his YouTube channel here. You can email him at stevemuehlhausen at yahoo.com and can find him on Twitter at smallhausenma.